Yo what's up guys, I'm Yannick from The Produced Girl and welcome back to a brand new tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how to create EDM like Retrovision. We just released our website and a brand new Silent One sound bank called Retrovibes. And Retrovibes is the ultimate Silent One sound bank to take your future house productions to the next level. The sound bank was inspired by Retrovision and was designed to make your future tracks even better. And if you download the Red Tribes Silent One Sound Bank, you will get a bank which contains 54 well designed Silent One presets inspired by Retrovision. And if you want to check out some presets yourself, you can go to the preview section of the Sound Bank page and just press on the play button and listen how the preset sounds. If you have a question about our website or the Sound Bank, just drop a comment and we will try to answer them all. We hope you like the Red Tribes Sound Bank for Silent One. And hopefully you can use it in your next track. In this tutorial I will be remaking Get Down from Retrovision. And all the presets that I'm using uh, come from the Retrovib sound bank as I already told you. Uh, so let's start with the first one, it's called Get Down, and it sounds like this. And I already made the melody of Retrovision's uh, Get Down. And as you can see, it stays on the E note. And what we want to do is to uh, create a pitch band for it, but I will do that later. Uh, let's go to the second layer. And this one is called Get Down 2, and it goes like this. So let's copy the melody. And I'm going to put it one octave down. The third layer is Get Low. As you can hear, it's a really distorted sound, and I will use it in the lower parts of the melody. So let's copy this one and paste it. And it gives a really harsh cool sound. Let's move on to the fourth one, it's called voice. And it sounds kind of like a robotic voice, uh, so let's paste the melody again in there. And it really gives that, that funky vibe. It will sound together something like this. What we want to do next is to create a pitch band automation for uh, all the leads. So we are going to make an automation of this wheel. You can go to tools, select last week, and then you see this pitch band over here. And then select create automation clip. And now it will make an automation clip of it. Uh, so let's mute the other leads. And let's put it up. And for the last part of the melody, I don't want it uh, to pitch up or down because it's just a uh, kind of normal melody. And I'm going to do the same for the other leads, uh, so let's just do that. I just made all the pitch band automation and then all leads together will sound like this. Sounds pretty dope already, but it's time to process the leads. Let's start with the first one. And I'm just going to uh, cut out some low frequencies and boost a bit of the mid frequencies to give it uh, a bit more body. And for all the leads I made one bus and uh, on this bus I will put reverb and uh, sidechain of course. I'm not going to do a lot of stuff with this sound because it sounds already pretty good. So let's move on to this one. Cutting out some low frequencies. And I'm going to boost a bit of the high frequencies. And what I'm going to do with this lead is that I am going to add a stereo shaper on it to make it sound stereo. And 
and this will give it a white effect. The third one. And as you can see in the EQ, there are a lot of high frequencies over here and I'm going to duck in them a bit. So it's not that harsh anymore. Um, and I'm going to boost some of the mid frequencies. And of course, uh, cutting out some low frequencies uh, so it doesn't clash with my bass. And that's what I'm going to do for this one. And then the last lead. It's the voice lead and I'm going to EQ it. Let's boost some high frequencies. And boost some of the uh, mid frequencies to give it a bit more body. And I'm going to add a sausage fattener on it to fatten up the sound a bit. And the last thing I'm going to add is an effector and it will give it a really cool vibe. Uh, what you want to do is select the Vox mode and then turn off bypass and then just move this one around and just try out. And if you don't want it, uh, and you can make it less wet uh, with this knob and just turn it more to the dry uh, side. So now the lead sounds like this. And now I'm going to add a reverb to the bus where all the leads go into. Uh, so yeah, just make the reverb. And let's cut out um, some low frequencies of the reverb. So let's add sides into it with a kickstart. The lead sounds pretty decent in my opinion and what we can do to make the lead more interesting is to add another reverb, a big reverb uh, with just some low cuts and a high decay time. Um, and what you want to do is to lower the wet level and I create an automation clip of it. And what you can do then is uh, put it up at the end uh, of a bar. And if you add um, this wet level automation, it will sound like this. And it really sucks you back into the melody. The leads are done, now it's time to create the bass. Retrovision has a really unique bass, uh, with a lot of stuff going on there. Um, so I will try to show you how you can uh, achieve that. The first layer is this one, it's called Get Down. And it's almost the same as he used in his track Get Down, of course. It's really close to the original one and the main bass goes like this. And as you can see, um, the last note of this bar goes up and it gives it that bouncy effect. Same as this one, it goes down. And they use it a lot in future bounce tracks. Uh, so it gives a really bouncy vibe. The second layer is this one. And this bass won't be playing all the notes, uh, just uh, some low notes I think. So let's make it an octave higher. And this bass only plays uh, these notes just to add some variation to the bass. And the next bass is this one, it's called Cyber, 
and it's again really a uh, distorted bass this bass only plays these notes um, and it's again to add variation to the bass and retrovision uses these kind of basses a lot next one is this one it's called cloudy And it's really dope, I think. And Bass Cloudy plays these notes. And it gives uh, a crunchy feel. And the last bass is the sub bass. And the sub bass will be playing all the notes because you want the low frequencies in there. So it should be playing all the notes. And if you add everything together, it will sound like this. And as you can see and here it's a pretty complex bass uh, because not all notes are playing at the same time so it's not one pattern copied to the other ones what we are going to do next is to process them uh, and let's start straight away with the first one with bass uh, get down let's add an EQ on it to cut out a bit of the low frequencies because um, the kick should have the, the lowest frequency And let's tuck in a bit of the high frequencies uh, to remove them. Next layer. And it's a kind of distorted square wave. And I'm going to add uh, a distortion plugin on it called Fast Disk. It's from Fruit Loops itself. Just to add uh, a bit of distortion. Let's move on to the next one. And I'm going to add an EQ on it and uh, cut the frequencies until around uh, 150 hertz. Because I only wanted to have uh, some mid frequencies because uh, it's a mid bass. And I'm going to put a Vox effect with the effector on it. Uh, so let's select Vox with this one. Now it sounds like it's a kind of a robot voice. And let's move on to the fourth bass. And it has a lot of uh, high frequencies. And the last bass is the sub bass and uh, the only thing I'm going to do is to add an EQ on it with the first preset, uh, this one. And I'm just going to cut out the high frequencies. Now we are almost done processing the bass, uh, we just only have to add a kickstart on it uh, to give it sidechain. So let's play all the basses. We are almost done and the only thing we have to do is to create the drums. I will show you how I made the drums. The drums are pretty simple actually. It's just a kick with a pre-shifted clap. And some short sweep uh, in between. There's also white noise to fill up some space. And just a simple fill. And then in the second part of the drop, um, there are a few loops incoming, uh, such as a right and a shaker loop, and of course a open hi hat.
And I added this effect. And it just fills up some space. The last thing we have to do is to create a second layer uh, for the second part of the drop. And I'm going to just copy the melody and create a new pattern. And I'm going to use this preset called Bounce. And it's just a lower layer uh, for the second part of the drop. And I'm going to pitch bend it again with this button. Then select Tools and go to uh, Last Tweak and then select Create Automation Clip. With the pitch bend, the lead will sound like this. And it just adds um, a cool layer to the second part of the drop and then it will sound like this. And when you add everything together, it will sound like this. I hope you learned something new from this tutorial. Make sure to check out the pack yourself on our brand new website. I will leave a link in the description of course. Make sure to leave a like if you like this tutorial. And if you haven't subscribed yet, do it now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.